very best in professional wrestling. Portland Wrestling is brought to you by Tom Peterson's. For all your furniture, appliance, stereo, and TV needs, it's Tom Peterson's. With three great stores at 82nd and Southeast Foster Road. Charm made her the world sweetheart and the movie an American classic. Walt Disney's Pollyanna, Sunday night. Hello, everybody. I'm Don Koss, your host for Portland Wrestling. Tonight, a very, very special night. Our very first match will be the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship. This is the match in which the Southern Rockers, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson, have said that if they lose, they will get out of wrestling. Now, we're going to have that match first thing. We'll have all the interviews, all the action coming up right after this. Don't you dare go away. We'll be right back right after this. Only at Tom Peterson's. Free is a very good price. 100 free rental movies. $20 credit for new cable services with the purchase of any color TV and VCR combination. Two for one low price. 19-inch sharp cable-ready color TV and this VHS video recorder, both units, 448. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. Here's that outstanding buy for only $20 a month. The spot was fast, but here's what it is. A sharp 19-inch electronic tuning color television, a VCR for $448, $20 a month. And when you buy the VCR, you get 100 free rental movies. Here's just 10. And with the colored television, you get free cable hookup any place in Metro Portland. Everything for how much in Tom Peterson's? Both pieces, 448. I don't know how much money you spend on household cleaning products in a year, but if you get poof, you can forget about all the rest. Poof, like in poof, it's gone. Go ahead, you clean houses for a living. Tell them what poof has done for you. I used to have a whole tray full of stuff. Then somebody told me about poof. Now poof's all I use, poof's all I need. You, sir, tell us what poof did for your carpet stains. I tried everything on these carpet stains. Nothing seemed to work. All of the products from the supermarkets, even the professionals couldn't clean it. Then somebody told me about poof. I tried it, and it really worked great. You want clean windows with no streaks? Glasses and silverware with no spots? Grease spots out of your garage? And you get a six-month supply. Nope, you can't get Poof in stores. You can only get it with a free phone call. Poof, it's either this or this. The spray-away cleaner that cleans everywhere. Call now. Poof, and it's gone. Only at Tom Peterson's. 100 rental movies free. When you buy this VCR, only 188 that's Tom Peterson's. And we are back at the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena. Now, I'll tell you what. Right away, we're going to have the title match for the Pacific Northwest Tag Team title. We have to have this first thing because Don Owen needs to know who's going to be left. And because, uh, as you remember, last week, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson, the Southern Rockers, who just a very short while ago lost their titles, their, their tag team titles to the team of the Grappler and the Terminator. The Southern Rockers said last week that if they lose tonight's title match, that they are going to hang up their boots, their tights. They're, they're going to get out of wrestling. In fact, I think they said they're going to set their boots right here on the desk. Well, we've got the, uh, the champions in the ring right now, the Grappler and the Terminator. Let's bring out, ladies and gentlemen, the...
Here's Don Owen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In order to... In order to have sufficient time to settle this one way or another, we're going to put this this team championship match on first. And uh, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson have insisted have insisted that this bout be not one fall, but two out of three falls, definitely, to give them more chance. Should be one ball, we'll beat these boys, and they'll be out of the Northwest for good. Well, we've signed the match for two out of three, so you're stuck with it. So this will be two out of three falls for the Northwest Team Championship. Introducing in this corner the holders of the championship belt, the Terminator and the Grappler. Opponents in this corner, the sensational team of Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson. Referee Sandy Moore. Here we go. Already, our very first match from the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena, and it's going to be a dandy for the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions. I don't know what he was yelling in there. He's he, uh, the grappler is very upset that this is going to be a uh, two out of three. You hear all these people here tonight? That's what you're up against, boy. Well, we do have a good crowd on hand tonight at the Portland Sports Arena. Glad to have them here. Glad to have you along too. Well, the grappler and the Terminator don't even uh, want to go through the preliminaries with Sandy Barr. They just want to get out there and get this thing going. This is best two out of three now. It's not going to be a one-fall match. It's going to be a best two out of three. So this very first match may take some time. Or it could be over in, in, uh, in two falls. You never know. The challengers. Uh, it seems kind of odd to call the Southern Rockers the challengers. They were champions for so long. And if you were watching, if you were watching uh, last week, you saw how the Terminator and the Grappler became, for lack of a better word, the champions. I, uh, I think I prefer to call them the belt, the belt holders. We got a lot of things happening at the sports arena tonight. Don't you dare go away. Now, don't you change that dial because we're starting out with a title match and we got some surprises for you before the night is over. All right, both men lock up. It's a Terminator against Steve Dahl, and boy, the Terminator is laying it on Dahl. And now there's a reversal whip into the ropes, goes Terminator. A back body drop. Here comes Grappler in to interfere. He gets a drop kick, a double drop kick on the Terminator. And the challengers are for real, ladies and gentlemen. They came here to get those belts back. They want those belts back around their waist, where they and most of this big crowd here tonight feel they really belong. I told you we've got news for you. Now, here's some news right now. Get geared up for, yeah, the Coors Motor Mania coming to Portland Civic Stadium on July 16th. That's right, one big show, Saturday, July 16th. Now, you're going to see five of the biggest, the baddest monster truck car crushers in the country in the Monster Truck Marathon, plus explosive thrill acts and demolition derby. It's fast, it's fun, it's fantastic. We're talking about the Coors Motor Mania, Portland Civic Stadium on July the 16th. You make your plans to be there, all right? It's gonna be something else. This is something else too. From the House of Action, a tag team title match. Very first thing. I think this is the first time that I can ever remember that we started a Saturday night of action with a title match. And this, there's a lot hanging on this match right here, ladies and gentlemen, because the Southern Rockers, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson, have said that if they lose this title match, 
and they're going to get out of wrestling because they uh, last week they made an announcement that they felt that they not only let themselves down, but they uh, really let the, uh, the fans down. Oh, you see that? Peterson laid a right hand right in the side of the head of the Terminator. And he did the same to the grappler. The Terminator sitting outside out on the floor. But the Southern Rockers said they felt they let the fans of the Northwest down more than they can uh, even express. And the best way they can express it is that if they lose this chance to get those belts back, then they're going to get out of wrestling. Now, along those lines, I've got more news for you. And I would venture to say that most of the people in our viewing audience tonight, and certainly most of the people here at the uh, arena, are going to find this bad news. As you know, last Sunday, we had an open-air extravaganza in Milwaukee. And in that extravaganza, Buddy Rose had a match with the Assassin. It was a loser leave town match. Well, I guess the best way to say this is that Buddy Rose is still here. He's going to be fighting tonight on the card, and the Assassin is gone. The Assassin lost that match to Buddy Rose, and he has left town. We're sorry to say. Oh, leapfrog over. Scott Peterson and Steve Dahl is doing a number on the grappler. Right now, the grappler and Terminator don't look much like champions, do they? Huh? This has been Dahl's and Peterson's fight so far. Now, remember, this is a best two out of three. Don Owen said that he would grant that. It was a request made by the Southern Rockers. Don Owen said he would grant the two out of three instead of a one-fall match because of uh, the importance of this particular match. Into the knee goes Steve Dahl. Oh, man. Now, that was some teamwork by the Terminator and Grappler. One wearing a mask, the other one wearing a, uh, a well, I don't know what that is. It's, it's a hockey mask of some kind. The Terminator is definitely a bad news dude, an extremely dangerous man. This is the man that has been suspended. He's been kicked out of cities of states of countries that's right this guy has been kicked out suspended thrown out of barred from countries the terminator has one two and steve Dahl kicks out we're still going we are still going on this first fall of this title match the terminator has a hold called i believe it's called the shindumaki that has literally destroyed opponents it has ended the careers of many professional wrestlers. It is a hold that has been barred and, and banned from many pro wrestling arenas around the world. Unfortunately, it has not been uh, barred from this arena. One, two, and Dahl gets that shoulder up. But the Terminator is here. He was paid to be here by the grappler. And he is sticking around now to do damage. And, of course, now that they've got the belts, he'll be here, I'm sure, for a while. Although they may only have these belts for a short while. You never know. If the Southern Rockers have their way, the Terminator and Grappler will have these belts only through this match. There's a shot to the head by Grappler. And he uh, takes a poke at Scott Peterson. And now Peterson has got Sandy Barr's attention. And while he does that, the Terminator and Grappler team up on Steve Dahl. Oh, that was a vicious smash to the uh, to the throat delivered by the Terminator. Sandy Barr did not see what happened. His attention was uh, towards Scott Peterson. There's a clothesline by the Grappler. Come on now, he's hanging onto the ropes. Sandy Barr caught that. He saw that. Now he said, you back off. And while he backs off, the Terminator's working on Steve Dahl. And Scott Peterson tries to get in there. Sandy Barr is keeping Peterson back. And in the meantime, Steve Dahl again takes punishment from the Terminator and the Grappler. Man, this is uh, there's no way that uh, Sandy Barr is going to have eyes in the back of his head. This is a good argument for having two referees in these matches, especially championship matches. The grappler continuing to work on Steve Dahl. And uh, Scott Peterson now is back over in that corner. I would imagine feeling pretty bad because he knows what has happened. He knows that indirectly he was the cause 
of what has been happening to his partner in it. Another reminder that this is the best two out of three to a TV time limit. And this is our first fall. Steve Dahl punching his way out of the grasp of the grappler. And he gets tripped by the grappler as the Terminator comes in and goes for the trapezius of Steve Dahl. It wasn't but a couple of weeks ago that Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson were the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions. And great champions they certainly were. They defended those belts, it seemed like, every week. Oh, the clothesline shot by Steve Dahl, and the Terminator is down. Dahl trying to get over and make the tag with Peterson, and he's out. And now Scott Peterson is in there. A right, another right. There goes a whip into the rope by the Terminator. The Terminator is elbowed down, and now Scott Peterson is taking on the grappler. He's taking on the Terminator. We've got everybody in there. Dahl has got the grappler against the ropes. Scott Peterson has got the Terminator against the ropes, and now Dirk, the Terminator and the grappler team up on Scott Peterson. Oh, man, there's a that was a karate-type kick to the solar plexus. Scott Peterson is down, and he's been counted out. And the first fall of this championship match has gone to the team of the Terminator and the Grappler. Get your pencil and paper out. Get ready to take down our pro wrestling calendar for the week of July 10th through the 20th. Tomorrow, we'll be in Pendleton at the Armory starting at 8 o'clock with an extravaganza in Pendleton. Monday the 11th in Yakima at the J.M. Perry Tech starting at 8. Tuesday the 12th in St. Helens at the Armory, another 8 o'clock uh, bell time. Wednesday the 13th in Tillamook at the Armory in Tillamook, 8 o'clock. Thursday the 14th in Salem at the Armory starting at 8 o'clock. Friday the 15th in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds in Eugene. A special challenge match starting at 8. Saturday, of course, the 16th. We'll be right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. Next Sunday, the 17th, will be announced later. Monday the 18th in McMinnville at the Armory starting at 8. Tuesday the 19th in Albany at the Boys and Girls Club. Wednesday the 20th in Medford at the Armories, an 8 o'clock match. And we'll be right back here with more right after this. You're young, but you like to have a new television, a VCR, or a really first-class audio system like this one. But you have no credit? Well, now you do, thanks to Tom Peterson's Young America Instant Credit. If you have a good, regular, steady job and can afford a down payment, then Young America Instant Credit is for you. Within minutes, you may qualify and pay on convenient monthly payments over a year. That's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. I'm here in this auto graveyard to demonstrate new finish, the once-a-year car polish. Simply wipe it on and wipe it off. There's no rubbing, no buffing. Look how new finish restored a deep, hard shine to even this weather-beaten old car. You see, new finish is not a wax. It's a space-age polymer formula that shines better and lasts longer. And here's proof. An independent laboratory tested new finish against several leading brands of car polish. After simulating a full year of punishing weather, New Finish had the highest gloss and actually retained 90% of its original shine. Next, we polished this car with New Finish and ran it through 52 car washes. After all the harsh detergents and scrubbing, the water still beads. You'll find New Finish is great for fiberglass boats, too. So get New Finish, the once-a-year car polish. And between polishings, use New Finish Poly Car Wash to clean your car. New Finish liquid rated number one by leading consumer magazines available at Kmart, True Value, and Fred Meyer. Wanted, Frederick Merrill, a man with a long history of crimes and ingenious escapes. His mother once smuggled him a gun inside a jar of peanut butter, earning Merrill the nickname Peanut Butter Bandit. Last year, he was arrested for sexually assaulting a 55-year-old woman. While awaiting trial, his jailers say he cut the springs from his prison cot and used them as hooks to scale two razor-top fences. Help put this dangerous criminal back behind bars. Watch America's Most Wanted, after Jump Street, Sunday on Fox. Our pro wrestling calendar for the week of July 10th through the 20th. Tomorrow, we will be in Pendleton for an extravaganza starting at 8 o'clock. There's going to be a cage match. There'll be a loggers match, a title match, and the midgets will be on that card. It's extravaganza in Pendleton. The uh, doors will open at 7 o'clock, and you get your tickets at the door for that. Monday the 11th, we'll be in Yakima at the J.M. Perry Tech starting at 8 o'clock. A big card scheduled for Yakima. Tuesday, the 12th in St. Helens at the Armory, starting at 8 o'clock. 
Wednesday, the 13th, will be in Tillamook at the Armory in Tillamook, an 8 o'clock bell time for a big card scheduled in Tillamook. Thursday, the 14th of July, will be in Salem at the Armory, starting at 8 o'clock in Salem. Friday, the 15th, in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds, there will be a special challenge match in Eugene, starting at 8 o'clock, Mike Golden versus the Grappler. Yes, Golden Boy against the Grappler in Eugene on the 15th. Next Saturday, right here at the Portland Sports Arena, the House of Action, we're going to have a very special match that we'll be telling you about a little bit later on. Sunday the 17th, that match will be announced later. Monday the 18th in McMinnville at the Armory in McMinnville, starting at 8, a heavyweight title match, a grudge match in McMinnville. Tuesday the 19th in Albany at the Boys and Girls Club, a bull rope match, and Wednesday the 20th in Medford at the Armory, and we'll be right back here with more action right after this timeout. Only at Tom Peterson's. Free is a very good price. Free 100 rental movies. Free with the purchase of any video recorder in our showroom. Buy this programmable VCR 188. Save $50 on this forehead VCR only 248. Buy this stereo VCR. You save $50 only 298. Now that's Tom Peterson's the happy place to buy. It's worth the trip. Yes, free is a very good price. This VCR, VHS, programmable, $188. When you buy it, this is 10 movies, you get 100 movie rentals free. It's just like getting the VCR for nothing. Buy this for $188, and 100 free rental movies are yours at Tom Peterson's Video Library. It's an outstanding buy. $188 for a VCR, 100 free rentals. All right, we are back at the House of Action, and now for our big-time wrestling fans that are just joining us in the great state of Washington, in the Seattle area, we've got to bring you up to date. Our Portland show has run long. What you're seeing right out here right now, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson, the Southern Rockers, are in the battle of their life and of their career. This is the third and deciding fall of a tag team championship match. The champions, the Terminator and the Grappler, have got the belts. The Southern Rockers are going back for the belts that they used to have. They have said that if they lose this match, if they lose this fight, they're going to get out of wrestling. And joining us right now in the Crow's Nest is Playboy Buddy Rose. It kind of reminds me what the assassin said last Sunday. If he lost the match against Playboy Buddy Rose, he'd have to leave the Northwest, didn't he? Yes, he did. And he and lost, didn't he? Yes, he did. And, and he's I'm gone. here, aren't I? Yeah, you are. So everything's riding on this third fall. So everybody keep your eye on the television because everything's riding because those Southern Rockers are going to turn in their boots and their trucks to Don Owens and we're going to be able to bring them up here on TV and rip them up and show you people what the Grapple and the Terminator are really made of and have a good laugh and say goodbye to the Southern Rockers. Well, that remains to be seen. The Southern Rockers have got the fans in this arena behind them. Listen to that. Hey, they've, uh, they've got that fan power going for them, and they have no intention of getting out of wrestling. They want to get those belts back, and the Terminator and the Grappler are in the fight of their life right now. The Assassin had fan power going for him. Matt Bourne had fan power going for him. Where are they? All right now, Steve Dahl levels the Terminator, and the Terminator is shaking up a little bit. Now, one thing that Buddy Rose has created, he's, he's caused a need for a tournament to be to decide the new TV champion. As you know, the you know, legitimately, I should be the TV heavyweight champion because I did run him out of the Pacific Northwest. But I know deep down inside, tournament or not, I can beat anybody and everybody, and I'll still come out the television heavyweight champion. I've beaten Roddy Piper. I've beaten Rick Martel. I beat Jesse Ventura. The list goes on. I've beaten all the greats in the professional wrestling world. Some still wrestling, some aren't. And I am still undefeated in loser leave town match. And when it comes to the big ones, nobody has ever beat me, but I've beaten all the biggest names in wrestling. And I'll continue to do so in the Pacific Northwest or wherever it may be. That's the voice of Playboy Buddy Rose. And there will be a tournament to decide the TV champion coming up in just a little bit. Oh, a clothesline coming off the ropes. As Steve Dahl is leveled, the grappler going for the pin. One, two, and Dahl kicks out. We are down. Time is becoming a factor here. This is the third and deciding fall. It is a factor, but let me tell you something. Why they added on the extra minutes, I don't know. 
It should not have been added on, but it was an advantage for the Southern Rockers. You gotta admit, that was an advantage for them, right? Uh, it's 50-50, it's, it's tight, one fall apiece. It's 50-50, but if it's only like a minute and a half to go, the grappler and the Terminator could have stalled out the time, and these guys wouldn't have won their belts back, and they'd have had to turn in their boots and tights, right? But they're gonna do it anyway. Right, here it goes, one, two, and Steve Dahl gets that shoulder up. That's the slowest count I've ever seen in the history of professional wrestling. Uh, that's not a slow count. That's slow reaction by the Terminator. Right now, he's being slowed down a whole lot with a series of right hands by Steve Dahl. And there's some teamwork by the grappler and Terminator. Did you say slow reaction by the Terminator? I'd like to see you say that to his face. I'm not going to say that to anybody's face. I'm just calling it as I see it, buddy. Like I said, say it to his face. Right now, look, here comes the grappler. The grappler, they, they've lined up Steve Dahl. The grappler hits the Terminator. Steve Dahl moved out of the way, and the grappler leveled the Terminator. He's outside the ring. And Scott Peterson is all over the grappler. Scott Peterson with a whip into the ropes. Grappler is down. Now, now it's looking it's too good. It's not over yet till the fat lady sings. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Now what do you got to say, God? Well, it's still not over yet. Till the fat lady sings. I don't even see a fat lady in here right now. The grappler going for Scott Peterson. The grappler has got Peterson outside now. Peterson rolled almost the into ropes, the front row. Over the top, through the ropes. Over the top would have been a disqualification. That's right. It was through the ropes and they almost into the front row. The Terminator now is outside there with Scott Peterson. All right. And the Terminator. Nice karate thrust. Now the Terminator is going to. He can do some very serious damage to Scott Peterson. And he is. There's a hard karate kick right into the mouth. That should be it. That should be it. Of Scott Peterson. Now remember, Peterson can be counted out outside the ring. And there's not a thing that Steve Dahl can do, although he is coming around to his fallen partner. And Scott Peterson is getting up on his feet. He's leaning against the apron of the ring. The Terminator is outside on the apron of the ring. And we have, we've just got mayhem around here. As Scott Peterson gets part of his body back into the ring, and now, once again, he's being attacked by the Terminator. Look at that now. That's... Hey, that's tag team wrestling for you. You know, when if, Scott, if Steve Dahl's that stupid to come in and bring the referee across and they can take advantage of him, that's where experience come in. That's where the Terminator and the grappler know how to work together. Same as the Colonel the Beers and myself, same as Avalanche and myself. Experience is what counts. Bodies don't mean a thing. Muscles don't mean a thing in wrestling. I don't care how big they are. I've ran them all out. And you know what I'm built like, 217 pounds. I beat the best built wrestlers in wrestling. They're a dime a dozen. It's experience that counts in wrestling. And wrestling will prove it right here. <clears throat> well, there's a chop by the Terminator. And once again, Scott Peterson is down. And once again, the Terminator bringing down that chop right across the heart. And the Terminator going for the pin. One, two, and Scott Peterson kicks out. One, there. two, and one, two, and one, two, and. And That's he kicks out. In, in. It should be three. Well, not when he kicks out. The Terminator working on the trapezius of Scott Peterson. The grappler trying to quiet the crowd, and the crowd is getting behind the Southern Rockers. And now the tag is made. The grappler's in there. There's a shot right into the armpit. And now the grappler has got... Scott Peterson into the ropes. Peterson leapfrogs over the grappler, and both men just collide. Double clothesline, double clothesline. They clotheslined each other. Yeah, well, now who's being hung out to dry? Both of them trying to get to their feet. Peterson makes a tag with Steve Dahl, and it's Dahl in there against the grappler. A right hand puts the grappler down. Another right hand. There's another right hand. And now we've got them all in there. We've got Dahl against the Terminator. We've got Peterson against the grappler. And we got Sandy Barr all confused again. All right, look at this. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. That's, that's Scott Peterson's fault. He's holding the referee. This is it. This could be it. Here come the boots oh, and the trucks. That's going to be a three count. I know it. One, two, I get the count. No. Three. All right. Goodbye, Southern Rockers. Buddy Rose counting up here. I with win. It. I win. I'm always right. Yeah, everybody saw what happened. The Terminator right. took that belt off. They used it. 
to. Danny Barr didn't see it. No, so here comes uh, Billy Two Eagles into the ring. He's explaining to Sandy Barr exactly what happened. And somebody should certainly explain to him. Yeah, yeah, he got the belt out of the tights of the grappler. Sandy Barr is going to reverse the decision. He's going to reverse the decision. No, yeah, they're still fighting. He hasn't reversed nothing. The match is still continuing, it looks like. This isn't right. The match should be over. They're still fighting. Wait a minute. Now One, count, count. Two, three. three. That was a fast count. I'm going back to the dressing room. I don't believe what I saw, but I got a lot of complaints. Sandy Barr did keep the match going. When he found out what happened, he kept the match going. And the winners and new tag team champions, the Southern Rockers, Steve Dawn and Scott Peterson. And now look what's happening. Oh, man, we got the grappling, the Terminator attacking Billy Two Eagles. And now the new champions just cleared the ring of the Terminator and the grappler. There's Buddy. He's coming back in here. Did he get that Shindo Maki on him? Oh, on, Billy, on Billy Two Eagles? He tried to get... He tried to get the Shindo Maki yeah, on him. Look, it did a little damn. That's what you get when you open your mouth. We're going to take advantage of that, Colonel the Beers of my stuff. The Terminator did apply the Shindo Maki to Billy Two Eagles, and it's hard to tell whether he had it on him long enough to, to do the kind of damage that he's done to other opponents around the world with that hold. Uh, let's, let's, let's keep it right here for just a second. Let, Billy, uh, at least he's conscious. The last time that was applied, the opponent was unconscious. I think that Sandy Barr had just suspended the Terminator. I couldn't tell exactly what he said, but it sounded like he was suspending the Terminator, as uh, rightly he should. All right. We have new champions, and the Southern Rockers' career continues. We'll be back with a special interview after this timeout. Only at Tom Peterson's. Free is a very good price. Free 10 six-packs of 7-Up Gold. Free with the purchase of any two-door refrigerator in our showroom. Buy this Whirlpool no-frost refrigerator, $4.49. Buy this White Westinghouse side-by-side, -side, only $5.99. Buy this GE 18-cubic-foot refrigerator, $4.69. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. West. And I'll tell you two boys right now, they're going to be burning their tights and leaving the Northwest. That's the Southern Rockers, because me and the Terminator beat them right there tonight, right in the middle of the ring. Fair and square, we should have these belts up here right now. And they're telling me Sandy Barr says he's suspended indefinitely, the Terminator. Well, I'll tell you one thing, brother, don't ever underestimate the grappler. I'm not through in the Northwest by a long shot. All right. Listen, the Latin lover, myself, and Colonel the Beers are challenging any three wrestlers next Saturday night, and it's a smack tag, right, Latin Lover? That's right, baby. It doesn't matter who it is. You just get them and bring them to us, because can you imagine a team of Buddy Rose, Colonel the Beers, and Alma Drill together? Who can beat us? Who? Possibly the other team. Let's what find out who they're going to be. There is no other team here. So any of you idiots out there that think you can beat us, come on and do it. The assassin's gone. Matt Bourne's not here. <laughs> Kurt Hennig's not here. Who here. they got to put against the greatest athletes in the world? It, the Latin lover, Colonel LeBears, and myself. Tell Bring the troops to attention for a brief moment while you look at the Northwest finest athletes. That's it, baby. Maybe not American born, but surely someone who can take the bread out of the American's mouth. Dismissed. Well, not dismissed quite yet. I understand that it's the Avalanche birthday today. And Avalanche, this cake was delivered by an old friend. That's all they said, an old friend. An old, an old friend, yeah. Anand Goss. Well, it, it, it does happen to be my birthday today. And, well, I, I, I decided I'd probably be a little nicer on my birthday, but we all know how that usually goes. An old friend. You know, there's a lot of people out there who should be sending me cakes, especially Mike Golden, because, you know, he probably wants me to be nicer to him. Well, there's Mike Golden, and there's the cake. Uh. No! Wait a minute! Not good! Mike Golden! I'm not going to let him humiliate. Nobody, nobody humiliates me on front. 
on TV. He humiliated me. Wait a minute, Mike Gold. This is not going to end right here. This isn't going to end right here. Next week, I want you in the ring. I want you in the ring, Mike Gold. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. Oh, man. He's doing a cakewalk out of here. Well, <clears throat> I've heard of being pie-eyed, but he got the entire cake all over his face. This, I think, uh, is going to continue possibly tonight or possibly next Saturday night. We'll be right back with more after this timeout. Only at Tom Peterson's. And Bergstrom's outside. And, oh, man, he went through the ropes and almost into the front row. He's belt. We're going to keep these belts for the Pacific Northwest. We didn't let you people down. We knew it in our hearts. You knew it in your hearts. You gave us 100%. But I'm going to tell you something. We got our belts back. Me and Steve here are some happy rockers. We know you people are happy. But I'm going to tell you something, Grappler. Two weeks ago, I went 20 minutes with you and Eugene. You didn't win, and I didn't win. Last night, I went 30 minutes with you and Eugene. You didn't win, I didn't win. And you didn't want five more minutes, brother, because I was coming at you hard. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm talking it over with Barry and Don Owens, and if I can get it next Saturday night, I'm going to do an hour here with you. And I'm going to tell you one thing right now. An hour, you're going you're gonna to pay, because I'm going to give you everything I got for the Northwest title. <laughs> Woo, baby, let me tell you something. You know, I think the Southern Rockers are going to have to change their names, because after night, we're going to be the Pacific Northwest Rockers, baby. Woo! Yeah! Let me tell you something. And everybody get ready, because the party tour is starting, baby. We're going to be on the road all week long, and we're taking these belts with us. You know, we're going to Pendleton. We're going to be in Yakima on Monday. Tuesday, we're in St. Helens. Wednesday, we're in Tillamook. Thursday, we're in Salem. Friday, back in Eugene. And Saturday, I got a big six-man tag right here. I got two very capable opponents. I'm a drill. You're right in the middle of that one, baby. You, Buddy Rose, and Colonel DeBeers better get it together, baby, because we're coming at you with a big six-man tag. And let me tell you something, there's going to be a party of party Woo! tonight. Woo! Woo! All right. Now, here's the man who had a little birthday party up here. <laughs> hey, Avalanche, how you like wearing that chocolate cake? I'll tell you what, I think you look better with chocolate on your face than you do without it on. But I'll tell you what, a lot of things happen here in the Pacific Northwest. You want me next Saturday night, Avalanche? You got it, brother. But... Sunday in Pendleton, me and you are in a cage like two animals like me and you belong. We're going to Yakima and we're going to be in a, in a grudge match. St. Helens and we've got a backstreet survival. Tillamook, see this avalanche? You like wearing cakes, baby. I guarantee you this is going to be ringing upside your head, Jack. Salem on Thursday the 14th and Eugene Friday the 15th. Back here, me and avalanche in a, in a grudge match. Sunday's to be announced Monday in McMinnville. The 18th, Tuesday the 19th in Albany, Wednesday the 20th in Medford. Avalanche, you better watch out, boy, because I'm hot after your trail. All right. Ooh, it's happening next week. It's happening tonight. We're going back out the ring for more action from the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena. Wow. Uh, they got to be careful up here. Oh, good. They're getting the cake cleanup uh, <laughs> committee. And they're getting the mops out here. They're going to clean up that cake all over the floor. Well, uh, Mike Golden certainly does know how to throw a birthday party, doesn't it? He throws the party in the face of the birthday boy, in this case, of the Avalanche. Avalanche is up here with his birthday cake, and Mike Golden came up here, and in one move, Avalanche was wearing that cake all over his face. Now, next Saturday night, mark this one down. Next Saturday night, we've got that six-man team bout. Now, we know that De Beers and uh, Madrill and... Buddy Rose are going to be on one team. We now know that the Southern Rockers are going to be two of the three on the other team. So this place is going to come apart next Saturday night. Whew. Oh, and it looks like Mike Golden certainly has accepted the challenge of the Avalanche for next Saturday night. In the ring right now, we've got Colonel De Beers. We've got Buddy Rose on one side. And here comes Art Barr and Billy Two Eagles on the other. Speed versus bulk. Oh, this is going to be some kind of a match. Call your friends and neighbors, call your relatives, tell them to tune in right now. Because we got action all over the place. Here's Don Owen getting into the ring, and he'll make the announcement of this match. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall, a relay team match. 
Introducing in this corner the very powerful team of Playboy Buddy Rose and Colonel De Beers. Their opponents in this corner, the team of Art Barr and Billy Two Eagles. Hold it. I hope your son's listening. Your son, Barry Owens, promotes Eugene, right? Next Friday night, Colonel De Beers and myself are challenging the Southern Rockers in Eugene for a Tag Team Championship match. I'll tell you what, if we can't beat you guys, we don't want a title match because we don't deserve it. But if we beat you guys, we deserve a title match in Eugene next Friday night against the Southern Rockers, Colonel De Beers and myself. Well, that's Buddy Rose, and uh, somebody was saying a little while ago, and Buddy Rose keeps saying that he weighs 217 pounds. Uh, I heard somebody uh, say, well, what scales are you using? Uh, actually, it's 217 before he steps on the scales. And after he gets off the scales, you can't, you can't really tell because the scales are broken. Now, I, I'm, I say that uh, with, you know, the, the most sincere respect for Buddy Rose. You've got to have respect for the man, no matter what you may think about him personally. Because there's the man who never has lost a loser leave town battle. There's the man who is responsible for Matt Bourne's uh, absence tonight. He's responsible for the assassin's absence tonight. The assassin has left town. He lost that match with Buddy Rose last week in Milwaukee. Buddy Rose is responsible for a tournament now to decide the, uh, the new champion, the TV champion. So you can say what you want about Buddy Rose, but the man is an athlete. He certainly has made his name, his mark, <clears throat> his bruise in the world of the sport of professional wrestling. Now, the team of Art Barr and Billy Two Eagles getting the crowd behind them, chanting USA as they fight South African Colonel De Beers. De Beers is down, flat on his back, and Art Barr is right on him, a side headlock. Now, obviously, uh, Oh, man, look at that. A left, a left hand right in the solar plexus doubles up Art Barr, but he's right back again with an arm drag on Buddy Rose. Art Barr and Billy Two Eagles giving up a sizable amount of uh, weight and bulk to a team of Colonel De Beers and Billy Two Eagles, or uh, Colonel De Beers and Buddy Rose, but certainly they make up for that in speed, athletic ability, and certainly, as we've said so many times before, agility, and that can oftentimes win a pro wrestling match. Barry Owen has joined us in the Crow's Nest right now. Barry, I, uh, I understand that the Terminator has been suspended indefinitely. Is that right? That's right. Referee Sandy Barr and us here at Owen Promotions, he is definitely suspended for a certain period of time to be determined right now, indefinitely. Well. And, and deservedly so. I mean, we, everybody here, including the cameras, we all saw the, saw the Terminator take that belt, and uh, he tried to choke, uh, uh, you know, Steve Dahl. I mean, he tried to end his career right there. Yep. And then, of course, he, he attacked Billy Two Eagles with that Shindo Maki hold. I mean, uh, Billy is uh, lucky to be in the ring right now. Man, it's just out of control. Uh, there's just no room for that right here, right now. I tell you, listening to Playboy Buddy Rose and the Colonel De Beers back there talking about next Friday in Eugene, the Lane County Fairgrounds, they want a title match with the champions, the Southern Rockers, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson. And they were listening. They said if they want it, they got it. Eugene next Friday night. So we got a special challenge match down there with the grappler going against Golden Boy Mike Golden and Eugene Friday at Lane County Fairgrounds, and also a tag team championship match. The team of Colonel De Beers and Playboy Buddy Rose going against the Southern Rockers, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson for the titles in Eugene. There may not be anything left of Eugene after they get through. I tell you, boy, it's just been wild uh, for weeks down there. Just turned away crowds. We had a wild one last night. Near riot situation down there. It's big things, big things happening in Eugene. Did you see that back body throw by uh, Buddy Rose? Man, Art Barr just about went clear out of the ring. Well, I tell you, it's 10 feet off the ground and flying high, I tell you. You know, this is, we got a big card coming up tomorrow. Just hit on a few things. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock at the Pendleton Armory, big, big extravaganza over there. Tickets are still available for that. to be available at the door at 7 o'clock tomorrow. 
big extravaganza. We got a cage match on card, a lumberjacks match, title match. The battling midgets will be on the card. That's a big card in Pendleton tomorrow night, seven, eight o'clock starting time. Doors will open up at seven. That is an extravaganza tomorrow in Pendleton. Boy, I tell you, that's as big as they get, and it's going to be a wild one. So get out there and don't miss this one. It'll be a wild one. And then we go on to Yakima. And then St. Helens, big, big card St. Helens this coming Tuesday, the 12th. That's St. Helens Armory, it's 8 o'clock starting time. And then on to Tillamook at the Armory in Tillamook. Look at Playboy Buddy Rose out here choking hard bar. The referees can't see it. Billy Two Eagles got to get out. Uh, now, uh, Buddy Rose is using his foot to, uh, once again, choke Art. He could crush his larynx that way, and Art Barr getting back in the ring, trying to, and there's Buddy Rose popping him right in the eyes. Well, I tell you, Buddy Rose is up to his old tricks, especially his Colonel De Beers, I tell you. There goes De Beers. Oh, now this is going to backfire into De Beers. Into the turnbuckle goes De Beers, eye first. But uh, Art Barr still trying to shake off some of that choking and gouging, and here comes Buddy Rose. He's going to grab the Art Bar in the middle of the ring there. Yeah, he kept him from tagging, but that's what tag team champs, you know, matches are all about. Look, you know, Buddy Rose just got nailed by his He got arm. tagged. You talking about tag. You know, I'll tell you, Don, this is the action you're going to see coming on this Wednesday, the 13th, the Tillamook. Big card down there. All the top stars will be on in Tillamook, as everywhere else, at the Armory, 8 o'clock starting time. Look at this, Wild. Oh. Billy Two Eagles just hanging on uh, Buddy Rose, and Art Barr has got uh, Colonel De Beers in one corner. Here comes a well, it was almost a head-on collision. It was a shoulder collision, and De Beers is outside the ring, and Barr and Billy Two Eagles working on uh, Playboy Buddy Rose. Uh -oh, uh oh, wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Look at that. Uh, De Beers came down off the ropes, and this one's over. But this one's over, Barry. I tell you, that, nobody's going to come out of that. I tell you, especially after what Billy Two Eagles has been through tonight. One, two, three. All right, this one's all over, and uh, Buddy Rose and uh, De Beers roll out of there. Yep. All right, thank you, uh, Barry, for joining us up here in the Crow's Nest. And De Beers and Rose proclaim the winners of this match. We're going to get ready now for a very special interview. In fact, let's hold it right here. We're going to hold it right here and get up into the interview area and wait for our next very special interview. Don't you dare go away. Stay right where you are. You heard us talking about this before. Well, in fact, we're going to talk about it in just a little bit. We've got everybody up here right now. All right, we've got the Southern Rockers. we got Mike Golden. Hi, huh, it's happening tonight, huh? You bet it is, brother. We won the belts back. I talked to Barry and Don Owens. He gave me that Northwest Heavyweight title match next Saturday night off TV right here. Grab I'm coming at you, and I got a one-hour time limit to whoop your butt. <laughs> hey, we're going up and down the highway, baby, and I see Buddy Rose and Colonel DeBeers right over here. Well, let me tell you something. We got the belts back, and just like before, we're not afraid to put these things up against anybody. We're going to be up and down the highway, baby. We're going to Pendleton Sunday. We'll be in Yakima on Monday, Tuesday in St. Helens, Wednesday, we'll be in Tillamook, Thursday in Salem, Alma Drill. You know, we were supposed to put on some boxing gloves there in, in Salem Thursday night. If I beat you, I got five minutes with the gloves. Well, I got thinking about it, baby. That's not humiliation enough for somebody like you. So I did some talking to Sandy Barr. Here's the deal. I beat you, I get you for five minutes with a leather strap, baby. Woo. You beat me, you get me for five minutes. We're going to see what happens there, because I'll tell you what, you need a whooping, and I'm just the man to give it to you. Now, Friday and Eugene, we got to put those tag titles on the line. I think Barry Owens just told you about that. We're putting the belts up. Saturday right here, this man is going to be the Pacific Northwest or heavyweight champion. We got the tag team belts back, but we don't need those now. He's going to be the Pacific Northwest heavyweight champ. I got a big six-man tag. And this man right here is going to be taking care of some serious business, baby. Yeah. Avalanche, I love to watch you wear that cake, baby. You know, next Saturday night, you want to challenge me to a grudge match. Well, you know what? One way or the other, brother, this thing between me and you has got to end. Because you see, I'm going to put notches in my bat every time I wear your back out, boy. Because if you don't watch out, this equalizer here is going to own a part of your noggin, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I hope it does. I hope you mess up with me, Avalanche, because I'm going to guarantee you're going to wear the bulger, Daddy. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be happening next Saturday night right here at the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena. Mike Golden, Golden Boy, goes against Cake Boy, uh, Avalanche. That is going to be a war right out here in the middle of the ring. Speaking of the ring, let's go back out to the ring and get ready for our final match tonight. Well, a part of this, uh, part of these matches have been up here in the crow's nest. I think we're still slipping and sliding on the residue of that cake. Next Saturday night, we've got a six-man tag team bout. We've got a uh, grudge bout, Golden and Avalanche. You know, if you have a club or a church or group, organization of any kind you'd like to raise money for, you can book professional wrestling into your area to raise that money. All you have to do is call Barry Owen. Give him a call at dairy code 503. 484-0840 and Barry will give you all the information you need to know on how to book professional wrestling into your area to raise money. Now, while I'm informing you, let me inform you of one more thing here. We're talking Coors Motor Mania. Rockin' and roaring in the Civic Stadium on July 16th. You can see the Monster Truck Marathon featuring Extra Gold Top Dog, Jet Powered Coors Bruiser, Canadian Orange Crusher, Super Pete, and Monster Mash, plus a multi-heat demolition derby, the Tough Truck Demo, and three giant thrill acts. Twelve giant acts in one giant show. That's going to be the Coors Motor Mania at the Civic Stadium on July the 16th. All right, now we're going to bring out... He's already there, so let's not even mess with the music. He's out there, and here comes Don Owen to make the announcement of our next match. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 240 pounds from Los Angeles, Steve Austin. His opponent in this corner, 242 pounds from Tennessee, Golden Boy Golden. Oh, Mike Golden, uh, oh, he's being attacked from behind by Steve Austin. And look at that, a series of left hands right on top of the head. And Golden is against the turnbuckle. Austin all over him, all over him like a birthday cake. And there goes Austin, or there goes uh, Golden into the turnbuckle. These two men look uh, quite a bit alike. Steve Austin in the black tights, and uh, Mike Golden just going outside. Mike Golden still has that little uh, bow tie on. And look at that. Austin is, he, he's not letting up. He is slamming Golden face first into the apron of the ring. And now yeah, he takes a rake across the face by Golden. Another rake across the face. Did the bell ever ring or just their bells? There's a kick on top of the head. Austin on uh, Golden. You heard Barry Owen up here talking about Pendleton tomorrow. You folks over there, make your plans. Be there for that extravaganza in Pendleton. And we've got uh, Yakima on July the 4th, July the 11th. Tag titles on the line. Well, we've also got the grappler in the crow's nest with us tonight. Don Cost, I just want to tell everybody, everybody knows it. But I ran Matt Bourne out of the Northwest area last week. And I'm sitting up here tonight and I hear Sandy Barr, he says after our tag title match, he says that the Terminator is suspended indefinitely. I don't know how he takes it upon himself. I guess he's got the right. But I'll tell you one thing, I sure as hell don't think it's right to suspend the Terminator indefinitely. He's my main man. I spent a lot of money to get him here. And now they turn around and suspend him this time for good. Well, everybody saw what your main man did, Grappler. He took that strap. He tried to end Steve Dahl's career right there. And then he tried to put Billy Two Eagles. Uh, he tried to end his career or possibly life. Like I said, Don Cost, this is a man's sport. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. We should be the Northwest Tag Team Champions being the Terminator right now. The Southern Rockets should have put their tights on this table up here and been out of the Northwest for good. But no, what do they do? They turn around. Don Owens forced me one more time. He says, hey, you're going to put the Northwest Heavyweight title on the line next week right here in the sports arena off TV in a one-hour time limit. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Scott Peterson. You might be good, and I'll give you credit for that, boy. You're a great athlete, and you're in shape. And one day, you might be the Northwest Heavyweight Champion. you got the credentials. But I'll tell you, it's like this right here. Scott Peterson, if you think I fought hard for the Northwest Tag Team titles, boy, you hadn't seen nothing yet. 
when this Northwest heavyweight title goes on the line, the grappler lets out all stops, brother, because I'm not going to be beat for this title right here, I guarantee it. Well, what a difference a week can make. Last week at this time, you and the Terminator had all the belts. Now, you've got one belt left and the Terminator's gone. Well, that's exactly right. You know, they got a big card here next Saturday night. Big six-man tag in the Portland Sports Arena. And they got my Northwest title going on the line in a big grudge match against the Avalanche and Mike Golan. I'll tell you one thing. I know the Avalanche, he's in the back and he's fired up. And I would be too if somebody come out and slammed a cake in my face, especially on my birthday. So if you people want to see something, you come to the House of Action, Daddy, because the bad man right here, the grappler, is putting the Northwest heavyweight title on the line off TV in a one-hour time limit match. The 4th of July continues. The fireworks at least continue. It's just exploding out here. And next Saturday night, we're going to have more explosions right there in the middle of the ring. You know something, Don Cos? On the 18th, we're going to McMinnville. I can't wait to get there because every time I go there, I beat somebody up. And on the 19th, we'll be in Albany. And on the 20th, we'll be back in Medford. And brother, I can't wait to come to Medford either. That's my favorite town because I always heard somebody there. But the house of action is the place to be. And you know, this hot shot out here, Mike Golden, he thinks he's something, boy. He's got his ribs taped up. He's on the other side of the fence. He's got that ball bat laid in the corner, his Louisville slugger. I'll tell you what, I knew Mike Golden was real tough, the Golden Boy. But I thought he had more brains than he does because he's going to get hurt real bad by the Avalanche if he keeps up what he's doing around the Northwest. Well, that remains to be seen, and we may see all of that next Saturday night as uh, Golden goes against Avalanche in a super grudge match. And the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. The grappler putting his belt on the line against Scott Peterson. And you can bet that the Southern Rockers are really fired up now. They got their tag team belts back, and they want one more belt. Well, you know what? In Pendleton tomorrow night in Pendleton, we got a big steel cage match. The Avalanche is going to get his chance against Golden right there. If Golden makes it through the week, then he'll come back right here to the sports arena. And I guarantee you he's going to take a bruising, boy, because the Avalanche is hot. Somebody threw cake in my face. Would you be hot, Don Cox? Yeah, I would be hot indeed. And things are going to get hotter as we go through the week. Uh, this uh, July week, the 11th in Yakima. Of course, the 12th, we're going to be in St. Helens. Understand there's going to be a backstreet survival match in uh, St. Helens. Yeah, and you know what? If there's one man that can survive, it's the grapple, because I've been through them all. I've wrestled the best, and I've beat the best. Don Costas, like I say, and I'm going to tell all the fans one more time, because I know they appreciate it. They got a name for you, brother, when you're the greatest wrestler in wrestling today. They don't call you a great wrestler. They call you the grappler, the Northwest heavyweight champion. Beat me if you can. And that means in St. Helens in the Backstreet Survival match. Well, they're going to tear that place apart. And they don't even slow down because on the 13th of July, they're in Tillamook at the Armory. And they got a bull rope match over there and the tag titles and a grudge match. Right? Hey, there's big cards all over the Northwest all week long, like every week. But I'll tell you something, right here, if you watch this match right here, Mike Golan, the Golden Boy, he can't sell this man Austin short because, brother, he's all over him. Like, like dots on a dice, you know what I mean? He's all over him. He can't sell him short. Wouldn't it be something if we've seen the Golden Boy get beat right here in the sports arena even before the Avalanche had a chance to wear him out? Well, right now, Steve Austin has definitely got the upper hand on Mike Golden as he got a body slam. There it is. Steve Austin going outside. He's going to, uh, oh, now the grappler's yelling encouragement at him as, the, as Austin gets up on the second rope and now the top rope. And he, well, his intentions were to fly off of there. He's going to fly all right with a little help from Mike Golden. Face first, did a belly flop right in the middle of the ring. Austin had to take the wind right out of Austin. And now it's Mike Golden moving in on Steve Austin as Austin begs for mercy. He's not begging, brother. He's warning him if he steps in that corner, he's going to tear him up. Just like Scott Peterson, I'm giving you a warning right now, boy. It's like this. You better get to the training table. You better get in the gym. You better get on the life cycle. You better get everything you can to get in shape, boy. Put them jogging sh shoes on and get out there and get a few miles in. Because come Saturday night in the sports arena, if you think you can stay in the ring with a grappler for an hour, brother, you crazy. Especially with a Northwest heavyweight title on the line. And it's all right now. Austin, er, uh, Golden going for a pile driver, and he's got it on Austin. That move should be outlawed. That move should be outlawed. And that move has just won the match for Mike Golden over Steve Austin. We'll be back with a special interview after this timeout. Only at Tom Peterson's. 
Free is a very good price. Free. This six-piece camcorder accessory package. Free with the purchase of any camcorder in our showroom. Choose this RCA camcorder for only $9.95. If you prefer terms, $42 a month. Shorter terms, 105 days, the same as cash. Now, that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. In the beginning, people had problems sending for the free consumer information catalog so they could order government booklets to help them stay healthy, do home repairs, and keep food safe. In time, it became easier to send for the free catalog. But when it arrived, listing 200 booklets to help you manage your money, find a job, learn about federal benefits, and more, it was still hard to handle. for Pueblo, Colorado was almost lost. But that was history. Today, the free consumer information catalog is easy to send for, easy to get, and easy to use. And now you'll get a free sample booklet with the catalog. So send your name and address to Free Catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Do it today. It could be the best thing you've done in ages. Free Jolly Time Popcorn. Your choice, $78, $88, $98. That's Tom Peterson's. Next Saturday night in the Portland Sports Arena, Scott Peterson, you better be in the best shape of your life, young man, because when you step in the ring off TV for the Northwest Heavyweight title against the Grappler, brother, you're stepping in the ring against the best in the Northwest because they got a name for you when you're the greatest wrestler in wrestling. They don't call you a great wrestler. They call you the grappler. Beat me if you can. All right. Next Friday night, Colonel DeBeers and myself have got a Northwest Tag Team Championship match. And next Friday night, we will become the new Northwest Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. And by the way, where's the assassin? The assassin is gone. Playboy Buddy Rose is here to stay. And Playboy Buddy Rose isn't going anywhere. Young boys, in Eugene, if you'd attack a bar of soap like you do the ring, you might get someplace in professional wrestling. Otherwise, forget it. <laughs> Don't you just love these guys? Aren't these the greatest guys in the world that you've ever met? Can you bring that camera right under this name right here? Because when I get to Salem on Thursday, it's going to be all over you, Steve Dahl. Do you understand? This strap is going to be all over you. Because when I beat him, and I will, I get five minutes with this strap right here, and I'm going to strap him right across the face. And if you keep looking at me like the way, I might slap you too. You know, I heard Mike, I heard Mike Golden up here talking, Don Koss, and he got one thing right. He said there's going to be an end coming to this. And next week, Mike Golden, there will be an end, and the avalanche is going to do the ending. Because you know, because I always talk about it, how fatal an avalanche is. Because when it slides down off that mountain, there ain't nothing that can get out of its way. Because the avalanche is right there. It's deadly. And there ain't nothing stopping it, Mike Golden. Take it from me, Daddy. I'm coming to get you. All right, next Saturday night, it's titles, it's grudge matches, it's wars. This is Don Koss. Thank you very much for joining us from the Portland Sports Arena, the House of Action. This has been Portland Wrestling. See you next Saturday night. Bye-bye. Portland Wrestling, the very best in professional wrestling. Portland Wrestling has been brought to you by Tom Peterson. For all your furniture, appliance, stereo, and TV needs, it's Tom Peterson with three great stores. 82nd and Southeast Foster Road. Don Toss Tuxedos provided by Mr. Formal. We fit the occasion. Only 
at Tom Peterson's. Free is a very good price. 100 free rental movies. $20 credit for new cable services with the purchase of any color TV and VCR combination. Two for one low price. 19-inch sharp cable-ready color TV and this VHS video recorder, both units, $448. Now that's Tom Peterson's The Happy Place to Buy. It's worth the trip. Although the following movie has been edited for television, it deals with subject matter that may not be suitable for all family members. Therefore, viewer discretion is advised. TV 12, KPTV, Portland.